finding golf confusing and difficult and you are full of inconsistencies, then I used to feel exactly the same way as well. You see, there are so many different opinions in terms of where should your ball position be, where should your stance be, where should your weight be, that it just often leaves you frustrated and second guessing. I discovered something that I'm gonna share with you today which just made that whole process so much simpler. Let's get rid of all that confusion and get stuck into today's video. I used to be told in my golf lessons that I had to stand a certain way, both your feet perpendicular to the target line. Russ, the ball needs to be in the middle of your stance. You have to aim perfectly parallel. I just felt completely frozen over the golf ball. You know, I would often look down at that thinking, yeah, but I'm, I want to hit it that way and I feel like I'm so rigid and placed here that I just felt completely stuck and I see this all the time with golfers that I get the chance to work with. I realized through experimentation is I could break away from that feeling of stuckness and that normality and the way I did it was in my ball position. So actually by positioning the golf ball more towards my lead foot started to help me get that sense of being able to turn through the golf ball with much more freedom. Now, what we do need to do, and what's very important in this lesson, is we still need to be able to control this angle of attack. Basically means, you know, with the irons, we need to make sure the club is striking down on the ball. With the driver, we need to be hitting more up on the golf ball. However, if I position, as you can see, this alignment stick about club head's distance inside of my lead ankle, and then I set up to the golf ball like so, as long as in the downswing position, I do two things, which is rotate, so my sternum moves over the line, or if not, an inch ahead of it, and I also move my trail arm in sort of a movement where it's helping the club continue to move through the golf ball as opposed to this type of action, then my ball position could live there. And what it would do is it would only give me this feeling of being able to really hit through the golf ball, but I could still, like that shot, control my low point. So as opposed to moving this way and trying to feel like I was stuck, I actually realized hmm, I could position the ball there. And as long as I kind of do that, then the golf ball doesn't care where it starts. And the great thing that I also realized, the same with my wedges. So pitching and even chipping alike. Now, again, if I'm this way and I want to try and encourage my wedges to strike down on the ball, I do have a slight dilemma here because I can't swing up and have a huge movement. That's going to lend itself to inconsistency. But what I realized is, well, why don't I just start a bit more that way? So by getting my lead hand to reach down towards my knee, that would encourage my weight to be more on this lead side. My sternum would now be on the ball, or if not about an inch in front of the golf ball, or if I needed to hit more down on it, I went more that way. And then again, I just felt very liberated to look at my target. I could just swing my arms back and I can just keep the club moving through. And that again would bring those consistency in results. And the better thing yet again, I could do exactly the same thing with driver. I could keep the ball position in exactly the same position like so. And then from here, you see, I would just this time concentrate on looking at the back of the golf ball. Now the benefit here is because with the driver we're trying to hit up on the golf ball, all this meant is that in the start of the downswing, I wouldn't have to make a conscious effort to shift my sternum so far towards that lead side. Because that again, remember from earlier, was encouraging me to strike down on the ball and get that angle of attack a bit steeper that we need with the irons. The difference now is I could keep that ball position there, concentrate on the back of the golf ball, do a nice rotation in the backswing, and then from here I could just concentrate on keeping my head on the back of the ball, and that would again help me sort of get that sort of sweeping motion on the driver. And all of those things, meant that I never had to mess around with the ball position. What you will find that makes this so much easier, which again breaks past that normality, is this position. So lots of you comment about two things on the videos. One is my ball position, the second one is my lead foot. You will find life much easier flaring that foot. One, because it makes life easier to rotate on the way through, but two, it's easier to move into that side as opposed to a square posted leg is gonna make it feel a lot more rigid. And all of a sudden, you can go down the driving range and just mess around with these sort of feelings of placing the ball further forward. And I know this will work. And the reason why this will work so well for you is so many golfers have been messaging me that they feel liberated since they've been watching the videos of starting the club slightly behind the ball. And this is the same process. As opposed to sort of standing their ball position in the middle, club behind the ball, I'm starting to get loads of success with online students and people that I also meet, and also you guys emailing me that are moving the ball slightly further forward, start the club if you want slightly behind it, and then again, it just makes you feel like you can actually hit through the ball. Should make life a lot, lot easier. It only did for me. You know where I am if you need me. See you soon.